so we're actually playing Five and Candies Remastered, just because why would we play the original when there's a remastered version out? Uh, it doesn't really make much sense, if you ask me. I've never played the remastered version, but I have played the old version a little bit. I don't think I've beaten it. Help Wanted, Candies, Burgers and Fries, Family Restaurant, Looking for Security Guard on the night shift, 12am to 6am, Monitor Cameras and blah, 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 you know the deal. Okay. It's been a long time since I've played any sort of, like, FNAF-related game, really, so... This is gonna be interesting. That's the door. Okay. And that's that door. That's the middle. One. That's the window. Oh, I actually have to click. Hi, hello. I'm the junior manager here at the restaurant. I'm supposed to walk you through the job as our new security guard. From your How do you turn on the night vision? Guard. I forget. But, you know, I know you need like night vision so that uses extra power, or power or whatever. So let's get started. But you can hear we them. We have security cameras all around the restaurant, and if you bring up the camera panel, you'll be able to view the feed from each camera by pressing the camera buttons on the mini map. Now, our lights are always off during the night, obviously because it'd be a waste of power to leave them on all night. So to actually see something on the cameras, you can activate the camera system in night vision mode. You activate night vision by clicking on the button oh. on whatever camera you're currently using. There we go. So for example, say you want to see what's on camera 1. Bring up the camera panel, click on the button that says cam 01, and then to use night vision, you click on cam 01 again. Once night vision is activated, yeah, that makes sense. You click on any of the other cameras and view them with night vision as well. And you turn it off the same way you turn it off. Now, night vision takes more power than regular vision, so make sure you use it sparingly. Your first priority as a security guard here is to keep an eye on the animatronics. Those are really expensive machines, and mm -hmm. we do not want them stolen. And you keep an eye on them through the cameras. We have quite a few animatronics here at King. There's of course the cats, Candy and Cindy. Yep, the it's them. The uh, where is he? Penguins, just lots, I tell you. It's the penguin. Uh, so where's the where's the chimpanzee? Office, Hold on. Each of which can be closed by pressing the door button by each door. These are in case you're in Oh no, he's in here, here, isn't he? Personally, I just use them yeah. to shut myself off from the world when I need a break. But don't worry, you'll be a role model on that one. You need to remember that closing these doors takes power. And the longer they're closed, the more power they bring. I know that sounds kind of up. backwards, but you have to trust me on that one. I think it's something about the doors having an automatic fail safe feature in case the power gets cut off, you know, so they open up if there's no more power. All I know for sure is that they do use more and more power the longer they're closed, so you don't want to keep Oh, them closed it like ramps up, kind of. Now, uh, the reason I keep mentioning the power is because the restaurant uses a backup power generator at night, which only has a certain amount of juice in it. So anything from viewing the cameras to using the security doors takes power. You can see how much power you have left on the computer on the desk in front of you. Try not to run out of power. Gotcha. Though, you won't be stuck in the office since the doors will always open up anyway. Oh, and uh, one last thing. The animatronics aren't completely turned off at night, so they uh -oh. might start walking around a bit. But just be careful not to let any of them into the office, because we have stuff in there we don't want damaged. Like me, no I'm in the office, I don't want to be damaged. To oh, we're already going. There you are. Hello. Have a good night. So I'm pretty sure for night one we only have to worry about Candy and Cindy. Candy's already moving. But this uses power, doesn't it? I think it does. Oh, Cindy is also gone. Where are you? There you are. Okay. So you're actually further away. That's great. That is good. Oh yeah, this is definitely using- oh, so the- the power bar is like how much power we have left. That makes sense. Oh right, you can see the eyes if you don't have night vision anyway. So you don't really need the night vision. Maybe for some of the characters you do need the night vision. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure if you don't have the night vision it doesn't use as much power. Oh, okay, you're coming closer. Is that him? Oh, wait. You move? Okay, you're there. You're here. And you actually move on this night. I didn't know that. Oh. Alright. First night done. That, was, that wasn't so bad. That was pretty easy. 
Oh, right, I forgot about the cutscenes. I forgot there's cutscenes in this one. Yeah, there's like the puppet. And then you just look back and forth a couple times, like that's what you're supposed to do when some stuff changes. Wait, doesn't he just get closer? Yeah, hey, how's it going? What are you doing here? Oh, and don't you, like, come back around? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I actually remembered that. So, first night down, second night, let's go. Another phone call. Who could it be? Oh, you can't actually see their eyes in this one, huh? One. New message. Hey there. I, uh, put up a note today to gather some intel on the animatronics from the other employees. Uh, just to get a list of the, um, issues we've had with them. They've written down some stuff here for you. So, uh, let's see. Alright, so, obviously the animatronics walk around at night, you know that by now. Um, they try to get to places they shouldn't be. Uh-huh, yep. They act weird <laughs> after dark. Yep. They don't like adults. Hmm. I mean, I suppose. They always seem nice around children. Around us employees, they kind of stare at you. I always thought they just had to code it to attract with anyone other than children. But some of the other employees have felt threatened by them now and then. But I know that some of them are also superstitious morons. So who knows if they just became scared when <laughs> oh, they were already losing power more. the eyes or something. Anyway, one last thing on the list here. The last penguin interferes with the system. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> uh, we have these penguin animatronics as well. Right. Uh, they take people's orders and whatnot. We used to have three of them, but two of them broke down and haven't been fixed yet. I think they're referring to the third penguin that still works. There well, he is. Apparently it doesn't quite work. So yeah, definitely don't let him in the office. His presence alone could probably destroy our systems. Well, that'll be it for now. I'll be sure to leave another message for your next shoot. Oh, they're like all moving. Four people moving already. Okay, and that's gonna lose. That's gonna use quite a bit of power. It's 1 a.m. already. 87% is really not bad. <laughs> He's so tiny. It's so small. What? What? What could this penguin possibly do? Oh. Hey. So they actually go to both doors, huh? Yeah, that's fine then. Ooh. You got a lot closer pretty fast there. Where did Candy go? Actually, I really can't like just lose him. Oh, you're back on the stage. Hey, how's it going? Where's the penguin? He's still there. Alright. Oh, you're getting closer. Okay. I'm gonna keep an eye on that door. This penguin's approaching. Whoop. That's fine. Are you both on the stage? No? Okay. What am I doing on power? Oh, it's 3 a.m., 64%. That's pretty good. Uh, where did you go? You're there. Okay. Ooh! Do not. Okay. That is fine. Where did the penguin go? Does he go all the way back? Well, this door is closed, so I'm going to assume he just went all the way back. Especially considering that I just don't see him anywhere. <laughs> he looks... Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, so he goes all the way back and he's coming back out now. That is fine. That is fine. That's good, because then, like, once he comes through, you don't have to worry about him really for a while. Oh. No, you don't. How are we going to doing 5 a.m. 35 percent good 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 oh bad 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 please leave thank you <laughs> i did not see him there okay he goes all the way back you two go all the way back you uh never mind i guess uh okay i'm seeing some movement going on All right, all right. That was fast. That was really fast. 
She went like from the stage to my door in like five seconds. That was kind of that, that. That was pretty fast. But yeah, not night two down. Not too bad. Not too hard. Uh, I think we're gonna be able to get through this game pretty pretty easily. Maybe I say that now. It's gonna get harder. <laughs> No video input, but I can still turn my head. Oh, something's going on. Hearing sounds. Hmm. Oh! Those are like robot parts with blood all over them. Spooky. Alright. Night three, let's go! Let's go, night three. Another phone call. Yep. Thank you. So I think we need to keep an eye on the blank character, and then everyone else we can literally just look for their eyes in the in the doors, right? Like we can just go back and forth, and then we just need to watch blank, right? Oh, he moved his head. That's that's some movement. I'm seeing some movement. Can you see his eyes in the night vision? No, you can't. Yeah, that makes things difficult. See, like, that's really all we have to do right now. I think, at least. I'm gonna close this now, because I don't actually remember how he does his thing. I think he, like, doesn't he have some kind of, like, animation that he does when he's actually going? Yeah, okay, that's not good. Oh! Oh! Yeah, okay, so when he disappears, that means he's there. And then when you hear the thud sound, he goes back. Okay. Okay. That's that's good. That is very manageable, actually. Yeah, we just need to go back between these doors, check that camera every once in a while. That's not so bad. It's already 3 a.m. We're, we're doing perfectly fine. Because all the other characters, we can, yeah, see, we can see their eyes like that. We don't even need to know where anyone is. And at this point, like, they kind of move really fast. So do we even, like, need to know? Like, because, does it matter? Because they're going to move. They're going to move really quickly anyway. Hey, what's up? Thank you for leaving. Appreciate it. Woo! thing I'm most scared of, honestly, is I'm going to close the door in one of their faces. And then someone's going to come up in the other door as I'm waiting for the first one to leave. Uh, I don't know how likely that is, though. We're going to keep checking this now. Whoa. There we go. Now we're fine. Okay. Yeah. Just like, it's just like that. We got the routine down. We got the routine. Hey! See, 4 a.m., 63% power. Everything is good. Everything is fine right now. 
Cool. I was about to say we may not even really need to, to uh, check the camera after because they might just, um, like, they, they usually just leave right away, but I don't want to get the timing wrong and then get killed because of that. That'd be kind of lame. Um, but yeah, 5 a.m., uh, still like 60% power. I think this is where we're just, we're going to be just fine. Unless they add some other animatronic into the mix for the next night that makes things like way harder. I think this strategy works like foolproof. Getting a little nervous now because he's like just about ready to attack. Whoop. Whoop. Let's do that real quick. Alright, we heard the thud as well, so that's fine. Whoa! Did not expect that. Okay, we're fine. Night three down. Two more to go. We are we are just getting through this game, no problem. Not a problem at all. Alright, we're loading up the feed. Oh, there's like police tape numbers and stuff and you're here and you you're you're doing a little neck dance <laughs> something's gonna happen I'm gonna get jump scared by this puppet guy you good my man you don't look too good okay that's the end of the cutscene there is some lore going on there's some kind of lore happening here.